Hey everyone, welcome back to Gamecasters, and today I'm playing a game called Solaroids that is on early access on Steam right now, and the developer had sent me the game to try out and show you guys in a video, so I'm going to jump right into it, and also if you've ever played the old game called Asteroids on uh, PC way back in the day, it's, uh, it's pretty much a modern version of that game. It, uh, you're a spaceship and you fly around destroying asteroids and there's all kind of like other enemies that come in and attack you and there's boss fights and all kinds of stuff like it's completely updated to a modern version of the game so um another thing is I'm gonna be playing this on a game controller like a you know Xbox one controller because the controls are a lot easier for me on here doing it that way rather than the keyboard and I would, you know, rather play with a comfortable version to my own standards. But uh, it, it does run smoothly with keyboard and mouse, I'll give it that. But uh, just not my personal preference to play with. Now you, uh, like I said, like, this game is absolutely wonderful. The developer did a great job of recreating this style and feel of a game. And I'm really looking forward to play more of it. Uh, Another thing is, you can do four-player co-op on here, and I don't think the old original Asteroids game had that feature, but you can connect multiple controllers and play it. I don't know if it works with multiple uh, keyboards and mouses, so... Or keyboard and mice, whatever, however you pronounce that in computer terms, but... Uh, it is four-player split-screen co-op, so... If you have multiple controllers or Xbox One controllers or whatever, the Bluetooth ones at least, the older Xbox One controllers do not work for it. Uh, well, not specific for this game, just in general in Bluetooth anyway. You can connect them via USB cable, but you know there's a chance you could like unplug it or something, and the, you'd have to have a pretty decently lengthy uh, USB cord to do that. So. But I'm actually I'm absolutely loving this. It's nostalgic as anything like and it's also been years since I played the original Asteroids like I believe I had it on like one of my very first desktop computers and I don't even know how many years ago that was more than 15 but uh or at least I'm a, I, I don't know when Asteroids came out I really don't like I just know it's been a really long time I was really young when I played it so You can find this on the uh, early access store on Steam. It's about eight bucks, and the developer has a uh, Twitter page. You can keep up to date on what they're doing with the game and whatnot from there. And there's a forum on Steam that you can also check for updates. Um, and most of them are also posted on the uh, game page as well, so you can keep up to date with it. And uh, I believe they're adding more and more stuff. Uh, as they progress with it because like I said it's an early access it's not fully finished and it's not completely polished yet but for the most part like playing it right now this actually runs really smooth like for being an early access game like this is probably one of the more smoother ones I've played that are in the early stages of coming out but uh it's I'm trying to figure out, uh, the, the power-ups on here, I know the wrench one repairs the ship if you take damage, which also you don't die in one hit from an asteroid on here like you did in the original, at least if I remember correctly. Uh, this little dollar sign one gives you, I'm not sure, actually, um, I kind of thought it would have given me points, but it did not, so I'm not sure. And also, I don't know if you can see it on uh, on the stream or not, but uh, you can join in and drop out at any time, because on the uh, top right, uh, bottom right, and bottom left corners is the connect controller or keyboard. So actually, yeah, that does answer my question. You can use a keyboard for split screen, but uh, like I said, I, I don't feel like that would be as easy to use for this, especially not at least a lot of co-op anyway. 
another thing you gotta be careful about is it is like the originals where if you yeah if you go off screen you'll spawn on the other side of the map and you never know what's on the other side i literally just ran into a uh asteroid as soon as i came out of that and i could not stop quick enough to avoid it oh actually okay yeah this is another one of the things there's a uh a machine gun upgrade you can get that makes it where you uh get the machine gun and also if you pick up more of that upgrade you um get more ammo for it rather than losing it completely so there's that ah I didn't mean to fly forward. Oh, no, I'm spawning right on top of the ship. Okay, okay, that's good. There's actually, like, a spawn protection kind of thing going on here. So that's really good. Oh, I, I thought that would have... Oh, you have to hit the middle of it. Okay, I'm on level three. Sweet. This is actually the furthest I've made it on here. I'm getting a little bit better. And I've only played this, uh... Twice? No, no, three times now. I, I did a little bit of testing and seeing if uh, the game would run alright and wouldn't then crash on me. Which, uh, when I did get the game, I did have to work with the developer to figure out why it wasn't working on my end. But I think it was just specifically mine that wasn't working. But he was really great about it and uh, I'm glad I got to work with him fixing what was going on to my end. So hopefully that solves the frame bail so I had the same issue I had. But, uh, I did, oh, there's, that's a new type of asteroid. I haven't seen that one yet. I'm still trying to figure out what the dollar sign upgrade does. I may have to look into that so I know if it's, if I really want to pick it up or not. I need to grab that shield. So I've got a little bit of protection going on here. Oh, there's a weapon upgrade over here. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm losing track of, like, what direction my ship is flying in. Oh, I've got rockets. Sweet. Oh, oh, rockets chase me. Rockets chase me. Rockets bad. No, not rockets. Uh, Those asteroids actually chase me. I think I remember those from the original, too. Those are annoying... Oh, thank goodness, I still had a little bit of shield left. Alright. So far, so good. Oh, is that that's more rockets? Ooh, 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 I just ran right into an asteroid. Alright, I've got more rockets. Oh, there's a repair thing. Alright. Oh, I thought my rocket was coming back at me. I was kind of worried there. I really need this repair. Come on. Come on. Get aligned with it. Get aligned with it before something comes through and kills me. Like like the boss that's coming right now. Oh, man. The momentum. Which is realistic. Like, if you're in space, you're going to have momentum. And you're going to have to make up for that. But, uh... It's very hard to control. Alright. Well, I just saw rockets coming at me. So... So, oh, there's more. There's more. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Oakley dokely. All right. It's going to get intense. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, really? Fucking boss exploded and the shockwave killed me. Alright, well I actually made it really far on that one compared to my previous matches. That was actually really fun. I made it up to rank 19 on the uh, the high scores too. That's awesome. But uh, anyways, I'm going to leave this episode here. I will definitely come back and play this on co-op when I get the chance. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. It's dangerous to go alone. Check out our sponsor, FatalGrips.com. Use promo code GameCasters for 10% off of any purchase on their website. Thanks for joining me today.